Measuring employee performance is important for companies to make sure that people know what is expected of them, what they are doing and are doing it correctly. Performance appraisal is essential for companies to attract and retain the right people for the required job. Financial measurement or keeping an eye on the bottom line is not enough for a company to be successful and competitive. Other than producing good products, a company has to satisfy the customers and have a business process that is efficient and effective, as well as a strong and motivated team of employees. This way, a company can succeed not only in growing the business, but also in continuously creating value in the market they're in. Okay, but uh, the, the balance scorecard is actually quite separate then from the strategy. It doesn't mean that... Uh, you well, know, if you it's have a measurement a, of it's, the it's, strategy. It's a measurement. But in order to get that strategy, to come mm. up with, it, with, with a strategy, I mean, what, what, well, I mean, where does a good strategy come That's from because those are the examples you yeah. gave obviously those are very good ideas yeah, and no, they I mean that is really the, that's still an art that's still an art and, uh, and and candidly that's actually not my area of expertise because we have other mm -hmm. faculty at the Harvard Business School who uh, do strategy and uh, and advise people on them but I've, I've clearly read their work and studied it so I do know about the strategies but so our work usually comes uh, downstream from that uh, but what we can do is frame the choices because you, we say you do have to make a choice. You, mm -hmm. uh, so many companies, when the when the audit, first article came out and the, and the book first book, uh, Battle of Scorecard, this book, mm -hmm. you know, came out, and they said, "Oh yeah, I got it. We got to have measures, and they have to be in mm -hmm. four perspectives." Uh, so we had we balance scorecard. But I mean, that's not a strategy. Everybody's trying mm -hmm. to satisfy customers, and everyone's trying to improve quality and everybody wants happier employees. So that's not a differentiator. So you have to get beyond, it's not just having non-financial measures, you have to think about what measures really capture the strategies. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, the proof of the strategy is in the implementation. Absolutely. I mean, well, you can have great strategies, but if nobody can implement it or understand it, that's where the problem yeah. comes in. But can this uh, sort of be f uh, for any kind of of business or is it just for businesses that requires you know mm -hmm. generating profit and you know improving yeah. sure. competitiveness or can it, can it apply across the board to any kind of organizations that yeah. well, want to I mean, achieve the this? short answer is yes <laughs> <laughs> and it's been very gratifying uh, just to see that, that this is how fa how fundamental and foundational this thinking is because uh, you know, you can go into like a big oil company like Mobile, mm -hmm. but it works in financial services, it works in manufacturing companies, um, telecommunications, uh, so all types of uh, private sector organizations. But about five years after the initial uh, article on Balanced Scorecard, we started applying it to nonprofit and public sector organizations. And if anything, it's actually had been more important for public sector agencies mm -hmm. and governments and NGOs than it is for the private sector. And would you say that most organizations, now companies, use balance scorecard in order to measure performance and um, strategy implementation? Well, we have uh, kind of uh, are there two, other two ways, sources of data. I mean, we, we, the, it seems that about two-thirds or 70 percent of organizations worldwide, if you were to ask them, mm -hmm. do you use a balance scorecard, they'll say, Yes, it may not be exactly, you know, just the way that Dave Norton and I formulated and would like to see them, but uh, they do recognize the power of, of using uh, measures other than the financial ones. And in another survey that was done on the most uh, widely used management tools in the world, I mean, the balance scorecard is consistently in the top ten, uh, and it's not ten. Uh, <laughs> and that's pretty good. It's only 20 years old. Uh, so well, it's only 20 years old. Yeah, it's no, quite, and it's in the yeah, top 10 of management recent. tools up there with, uh, you know, mission and value, uh, value mission, stations, vision, yes. yeah, and, and strategic planning, uh, and, you know, it's in that category of widely used management tools. Now, the other thing is the th things to measure themselves. I mean, you mentioned either the financial aspect, the customer, the, the process, and the innovation, yeah. the, the quality right. of the staff. I mean, are these the only, you know, are these four things, are they written in stone or do you find in the last 20 years they sort of become quite fluid and, and change in terms of 
the things that need yeah. to be measured. First. I mean, the four fundamental dimensions have stayed the same. Uh, and, th and they won't change. Well, if, if they do, we, we're going to have to redo every MBA program <laughs> in the world. Because <laughs> if you look at what we teach in the MBA program of er in any business school, mm -hmm. you know, we teach finance and accounting, we teach marketing, which is about customers, we teach operations management, uh, which is about processes, and we teach human resources and leadership tied together mm -hmm. by strategy. And that's what's in the balanced scorecard. The evolution, probably over the 20 years, is an increasing emphasis on maybe a fifth dimension. And that would be uh, the company's position in the community, its environmental and social performance. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is increased uh, demands on companies to validate themselves or justify themselves by being more than just making profits. Mm -hmm. There's I mean, demand for you know, greater CSR. And exactly, the, the, so. the, exactly, the uh, corporate social responsibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, 50 years ago when Milton Friedman wrote, you know, the, the business of business is business, you know, making money mm -hmm. and other people take care of uh, social things and pass the environmental laws. But I think in the last, especially in the last 10 years and 15 years, there is more of an expectation that business will participate with the rest of society in creating value in the communities in which they work, not just making money for shareholders. Mm -hmm. And so to reflect that, so we will add a fifth perspective mm -hmm. that will report on a company's uh, performance in communities, uh, which has to do with employment. Uh, and also safety and wellness of the workplace, but, and also its environmental performance. Mm -hmm.